everyone, Bev here, back with episode 3 of the Western Bulldogs AFL Evolution 2 Coach Career Series. If you've watched every episode to date, I thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. And if you haven't watched the previous episodes, I encourage you to do that before diving in to this episode. Anyway, coming up in this episode, I'll be playing the round five and six encounters. So let's not muck around. Let's get straight to Marvel Stadium for round five. And we're taking on the Gold Coast Suns in our first game of this episode. I think it's fair to say we should be winning this game easily because the Gold Coast Suns are second last on the ladder. This is the Western Bulldogs team. A couple of changes. Zane Cordy, Hayden Crozier omitted for Ryan Gardner and Taylor Geray. And looking at the Gold Coast Suns lineup, it's highlighted by Took Miller, who has been in sensational form in real life, basically carrying the team. And the Western Bulldogs are running out to Marvel Stadium for Marcus Bontempelli's 150th game. Congratulations, Bond. What a champion. What a champion he is. Let's go, 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 doggies. Let's beat the Suns. Round five underway at Marvel. We need to bounce back after losing our last game to the Lions. Lockie Hunter's got a free. Takes on his opponent. How good was that? And then sends a short kick in the direction of Norton, who's got McRae four to the footy. McRae takes the mark. I'm going to go for the shot. This for the first goal of the game. Can Jack McRae kick it? Well, it's not going to make the journey. Bruce is there. Oh, Mitch Wallace is there too. Mitchie Wallace has got the first goal. Come on, the doggies. So back in the middle we go. Wicks beats Martin in the ruck. It only goes as far as McRae, who lost it. Good. Don't argue there. Kick to a pack. Off hands. Bulldogs had it. Lost it. Here go the Suns. Big kick. Huge kick from Sexton. Scores a level. 6-6. Six, six. One goal apiece. Oh, here goes Jared Witts. What? What? That was just too easy for my liking. Oh, nice hands. Trelaw. Look at him go, Trelaw. He's still going. He winds up, goes for goal. How did he miss that? That would have been a ripping goal. Oh. Here's McRae. Still going, McRae. He's got... Spare numbers inside 50. Dunkley takes the mark, plays on. Come on, Dunkley, kick the goal. It's got there. Free kick here to the Suns. I think it's Alex Sexton. Directly in front. Puts the Suns back in front. Here goes Martin. Bruce. Ah, uh, he had... A bit of work to do now. Jamara spilt it to Wallace, who puts the doggies back in front. And Mitchie Wallace joins Alex Sexton on two goals. Come on, Mitchie. Here's Will Brody, centre half back. Took Miller's marked that. And then Took Miller finds McPherson on the lead. Handballed off to Rao, I think it was. High ball inside 50. Sexton is killing the dogs at the moment. He is killing us. This is for his third. And the quarter time siren hasn't even sounded yet. He's got it. Oh, look at this. Yes, have a look at that. McCray just has to finish it. Oh, push in the back. Wow, lucky. This to put the dogs back in front. Come on, the doggies! Martin. And he taps it as far as Took, who sends it towards Caleb Daniel. Nearly marked by the Suns. Oh, get him. Get him, no! Fiorini. Suns are back in front. Just can't stamp our authority at the moment. And just like quarter time, the Suns 
have the lead at half time. 5 1 31 to 4 3 27. The dogs must lift. Matt Rouse sends it inside the defensive 50. Bottom Pelly, can he get the footy here? Oh, that's a good tackle. Although Took Miller was lurking around the contest. Jamara's got the footy now off the contest. Here's Wallace chipping it towards Martin. There's Jamara Eugle Hagen on the run. Oh, I think I might have stuffed it up. Oh, wow, that was a mess. That was a mess. I'm not sure how we got a goal out of that. That was a complete mess, but it turns out to be okay. Good punch. Oh, Martin, go all the way. Go all the way, Stefan Martin, you little ripper. What a goal. Dogs have started off the third term well. Oh, look at this, a two-on-one favouring the dogs, and Hunter's away here. Hunter has got... Oh, what happened there? How did I not hit up Norton? Doesn't matter, because Mitch Wallace is going to finish it off. Oh, gee, he's going to get the free. That's lucky. This is for number three or number four? I can't remember. Mitch Wallace has got it. And that is his third goal. That's a good intercept. How can I be so stupid? Townsend with a shot here. The former Tiger and Bomber now playing with the Suns. I don't think he's played a game in real life, though. That's a good kick. So, Jacob Townsend reduces the margin. That's the Suns' first goal of the second half. Is Atkins now for the Suns. Oh, that's a good kick to Brody. You knew straight away as soon as that kick was made, and as soon as I saw Brody by himself, I just knew he was going to mark it. And that's made it all the way through. Gee, this is a harder game than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a walk in the park. Here we go. Final turn. Dogs by a point. Come on, doggies. Hasn't been our best performance, that is for sure, but if we can just scrape through with the win, that's four points in the bag. Here go the Suns, though. Oh, no. No! Sam Day! Shrugged off Ryan Gardner. Starting to wonder whether Zane Cordy dropping him was the right thing to do. In the meantime, though, Sam Day sneaks it through. Kicks the first goal of the fourth term. They're back in front, the Suns. Come on, Martin. Get this to McRae. Oh, no! Oh, you're joking! Sam Day's got it again! What are you doing, Ryan Gardner? Is that going all the way? It's gone all the way! Jesus, I can't be beaten by the Suns. Surely not. It's ball up. Oh, well done. Intercepted by oh, Bonham Pelly. Oh, look at this. Daniel plays it to Norton. I thought about kicking it to Bruce there because he was in the goal square alone, but I'll go for the shot. Aaron Norton. He's got it. Come on, dogs. We can't lose to the Suns. We just can't. Not at Marvel, anyway. Oh, nearly marked. He's Bonnet Pelly in his 150th game. He's still going the bond. Goes all the way. Puts the dogs in front. How about that in your 150th game? What a goal from the bot. A crucial goal. Back in the middle. Still plenty of time remaining, I would think. Still time for the Suns to put their themselves back in front. Loose footy. Tackle him. Oh, lucky. Scores a level. Go to Daniel. Get on the move. We need a goal here. Big kick down the line. Bruce is there. So too is Norton. Norton gets rid of it. That hit. Oh, that handball was dud. Here go the Suns. Wits. 
into the centre. Got a man up, boys. Got a man up. Oh, no. No. Atkins. Oh. He's put the Suns back in front. Gee, we're running out of time here. Look at this. The Suns have got loose numbers everywhere. They could steal this. 28 minutes have gone. Oh, there's no one inside the Ford 50. This could be a mistake. Come on, Jason. He's got it, Jason Johannesson. Jamara. Oh, he nearly had that. Get the handball. Yes. No. What's going on? No way the siren went at that moment. I was away. I was going to kick a goal to level the scores. Serves me right for saying at the start that this should be an easy win. It's bloody hell. I have no words. Look at that. We've just lost to the Suns. That was a tough game, though. That was a tough game for some reason. Just couldn't shrug off the Suns all, all afternoon. And they've won. 63 to 57. Far out. Stefan Martin, 15 disposals. Jared Witts, the next best, 10 disposals. Wallace and Sexton keep, keep, kicked three each. Who's the player of the match? Wow, Stefan Martin, he'd be leading the Brownlow at this stage. He's been getting so many votes in this career series. Will Brody, Jared Witts also get votes. That's a disappointing loss. To lose to the Gold Coast Suns, who are second last on the ladder coming into this game. It's quite disappointing, actually. So that's two losses in a row now for the Western Bulldogs. We've got our first interstate trip coming up now in round six. It's against the Giants. They were last on the ladder the last time I checked, so we've got to win that match. Come on, doggy. I'm quite flabbergasted that we just lost that game to the Suns, so very important that we get the win here on the Friday night stage at Monica Oval in Canberra. This Giants team hasn't won a game this season. They've played five games for no wins, bottom of the ladder. There's the team. Gee, if we don't beat them, I will be even more disappointed. Anyway, I've gone to the chopping block. I've brought in Cordy, Hannon, and um, Richards for Gardner. Who else? Dale. And um, who else did I drop? Williams. Bailey Williams is out as well. Okay, here we go. Round six. Marnica Oval. Friday night footy. Come on, dogs. Let's go. Let's beat the Giants. In fact, let's destroy them. That's the kind of mood I'm in at the moment after uh, that loss to the Suns, no doubt about it. Boundary throw in. Martin's got to be better than that in the ruck. Here go the Giants. Nearly marked. That was nearly marked! Oh! First goal, Giants. Jesse Hogan of all people. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful pickup from McRae and Bon and Pelly all alone. Sorry, Josh Bruce all alone, I should say. And Josh Bruce to kick the first goal of the game for the Doggies. Let's have a look. A little bit of a breeze in Canberra tonight, but that doesn't matter for Josh Bruce because he finds the middle of the sticks. Here go the Dogs. Bon and Pelly. Now Dunkley. Has got Norton, overcooks the kick though. We're going to get it back. Here's Dunkley, should get this. Steers it home perfectly. Come on, dogs. Here goes Keith. Off to Daniel. Daniel now big kick inside 50. Off hands, Bruce collects. Bruce is off. Bruce kicks the goal. Doggies are two goals in front. Come on, the doggies. Martin can just get this to McRae. That would be great. He does. Look at that. And McRae's off. Handballs it to Martin to finish it all off. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. He 
go the Giants. Moving the ball well, but the Dogs have the numbers inside the defensive. 50 drop mark. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. Oh, as if. As if Prue snaps around the body from that position. Oh, you're joking. Hogan short to green. On the far wing here at Marnica Oval. Come on, dogs. Man up. Oh, that's just too easy. Half time, the dogs have a seven point lead. 4 1, 25 to 3, straight 18. A big second half coming up. Come on, the doggies! Second half is underway. Martin's got the footy. Nice handball to Norton. Norton's still going. He's got Bruce. He's got Wallace. He's got a couple of them. Look at that handball to Dunkley. And Dunkley dribbles it through into the open goal. Dogs have the first of the second half. Come on, doggies. Oh, that's a good kick from Trelaw. And never missing Jamari Yugel Hagen. He's got his first. Come on, Daniel. Oh, look at that from Daniel. That is superb. Cordy now. Lost the footy. Doesn't matter. Jason Johannesson's off here. We know he's got pace, Jason Johannesson. Look at him go. No one's going to get him. He goes all the way, does he? Oh, that's a beauty. What a goal. Oh, what's... What was that? Here go the Giants. They got back-to-back -back goals. And that's the first of the fourth term. So the margin back to 14. What was that? What is going on there? Giants have got another one. Ball up. Oh, good tackle, Martin. Oh, look at this. Wallace. Goal! Come on, doggies! What happened there? I didn't even realise the Giants still had the footy. I thought we tackled and it was going to be a stoppage. That's frustrating. That is frustrating. This would be a big goal if the Giants were to score this. Doesn't look like it's going to go through. In fact, Hunter marks on the last line of defence. Well done, Hunter. Now Cordy has got the footy. Go, Cordy. Go for a run, mate. Big kick down the line. That's a good kick, mate. Tapped by McLean. Now Norton has the footy. Norton's off here. Norton is off. Big kick to a one-on-one. -on -one. Bruce should mark this. Yes, he does. What a call from me. Bang on the money. And this should finish the job off, I reckon. Come on, Bruce. Bugger. Misses it. It goes out of bounds on the full. Giants still in this. Although they're running out of time. There goes the siren. Pretty scrappy, not a great win, to be honest. Doggies didn't play their best, but a win's a win. Four points in the bank. And um, it was much needed after losing our last two. So, good on you, doggies. Come on, the doggies! Beating our arch enemies, the GWS Giants. Seven straight 42 to 8, 250 was the final score, so an eight point win. There's the stats. Keith was the most disposal getter with 12. Adam Trelaw next best with 10. The only multiple goal kickers were Dunkley and Bruce with two each. Bruce should have scored more. He had a couple of shots that he missed. So we have a look at the player of the match. Again, Stefan Martin, you are joking. He will be leading the Brownlow, I reckon.
or close to it. I think he's got votes in nearly every game he's played. Lockie Keefe and Josh Bruce also getting votes. So, like I said, not the greatest win, but it's four points and that's what matters. And here is the AFL ladder after six rounds. As you can see, Collingwood are top of the mountain at the moment, although Geelong, Brisbane and North Melbourne are not far behind. They're uh, basically behind Collingwood on percentage. And as you can see, the Western Bulldogs, they are ninth on the ladder with the 12 points. They're four points away from the top A. It's fair to say, the Western Bulldogs and myself really need to uh, lift our game in the next episode because I um, don't think I played really good footy in this episode. Uh, you can also see that uh, GWS are still bottom of the ladder with no wins and six losses. So that's going to do it for this episode of the Western Bulldogs uh, AFL Evolution 2 Coach Career Series. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, of course, if you did, please do leave this video a like, comment below, and subscribe. I really would appreciate all of that. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social media accounts as well. I've got Instagram, TikTok. Uh, I've even got a Cameo. Of course, I've got Facebook as well. Go check those out at uh, the links in the description below. All right, that's all we've got time for. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye for now. Go the doggies!